example four now is 7.1 nth roots dealing with these problems. Um, the reason why we're going over this is so we can actually solve some equations as well. So if we take a look at this, whenever you're dealing with exponents and x's, you still want to try to get the x all alone. So in order to get the x all alone in this problem, um, since it's 2 times x to the fourth, let's get rid of that 2. So if I divide both sides by that 2, and I get rid of that, 162 divided by 2 is 81, and I still have that x to the fourth. Well, the opposite of something to the fourth power, right, is the fourth root. If I had something to the fifth power, the opposite of that is the fifth root. That's why when I have x squared, the opposite of that is a square root. If I have something cubed, the opposite is the cube root. So since I have x to the fourth, I could take the fourth root. But the other way to think about it is instead of writing it as the fourth root, right, which is correct, I could take the fourth root of both. But the fourth root we could also rewrite as one fourth, remember? So really what I'm asking you to do in your calculator is, what's 81 to the one fourth power? So you would type in 81, caret sign, parentheses, 1 divided by 4. And you get an answer, except, remember, the fourth. The fourth is even, and because it's even, that means you get two answers. So your answer is not just 3, it's plus or minus 3, because either one will work to make that work. Since we're talking about something cubed, right, I could take the cube root on both sides. So if I take the cube root of all of this junk, all I have left on that side is the x minus 2, and on this side I have the cube root of 10. I would add 2 to both sides to get rid of the, uh, the 2, and just to have x all by itself, so I get x equals 2 plus the cube root of 10. Well, once again on your calculator, you could do 2 plus 10 caret sign 1 divided by 3 in parentheses up top, because remember the cube root you can rewrite as one third, and that should give you roughly 4.15 as your answer. So taking a look here now at example six, the Olympias is a reconstruction of uh, Tri Remy, a type of Greek gallery sheep used over 2,000 years ago. The power P in kilowatts needed to propel the Olympias to desired speed in knots can be multiplied by this equation. Basically, very, very simple equation. All right, the S deals with the speed, and P is dealing with kilowatts. It says that a volunteer crew of the Olympias was able to generate a maximum power of about 10.5 kilowatts. So I know what P is. It's, it's telling me what P is. It's saying that P is 10.5. So if that's what 10.5 is P, if that's what it is, then I'm golden. So I plug that in for P. And I need to get S by itself. So in order to get S by itself, I just divide both sides by 0 0.0289. And when I do that, that gets S all by itself, and I get roughly 363. So I can cube root both sides. And the cube root is like saying, take 363 to the 1 3rd power. And that is roughly 7. So it was going about a speed of 7 knots. So there's your homework. And we are now done with 7.1. No problem. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to email me at any time.